Did you know that the most expensive pearls in the world are made by a rare sea snail? And that the most expensive creature on the planet costs $16 million? Do you have any idea what it could be? There are some astronomic prices in the animal world, and today you'll see it for yourself. In this episode, I'll show you the most expensive creatures on Earth and tell you some interesting facts about money and famous money places. Let's go. Pearl The pearl on the left is worth $3, and the pearl on the right is worth $30,000, or vice versa. So, what's the difference between them? The true value of a pearl is very difficult to judge by eye, but experienced jewelers know that some pearls are worth more than diamonds. Such factors as size, color, shape, surface smoothness, and luster all affect the price of a pearl. The bigger and flatter the gem, the more money you can get for it. Shut up However, the most money. expensive pearl in the world can't boast the ideal shape or smoothness. It's simply gigantic. It weighs 34 kilograms and its price is estimated at $100 million. It would be hard to compete with such a competitor, but if we talk about small pearls, which are so much prized by jewelers, then it's worth noting that there are fabulously valuable pieces among these gems. The rarest ones are the so-called flaming pearls, mostly known as melo melo. They do not consist of mother of pearl because they are not made by a bivalve mollusk, as in the case with the common pearls, but by the sea snail named melo melo. It lives on the clay bottom of the tropical waters of Southeast Asia at the depth of about 10 meters and is very rare. Jewelry with such a gem will cost about $75,000, though there are some jewelry masterpieces costing more than $250,000. But why are pearls prized so much in general? Part of the reason is this is one of the few pieces of jewelry created by a living creature. The creation of a pearl is essentially a protective mollusk's reaction to a foreign body in its shell. This process is very difficult to control from the outside, so even on the pearl farms, the producers cannot make melo melo snails to create the most perfect pearls. However, the fact that pearl production depends on nature, people are often just lucky. Snails and mollusks are eaten, so the eater has a small chance of suddenly becoming rich. That's what happened to Rick Antos. The man ordered himself a $15 dish of oysters in a restaurant and almost broke a tooth on a pearl that was worth a few thousand dollars. The Secret of Dubai's Wealth What do you know about Dubai? You can say it's a major financial, commercial, and tourist center in the Middle East and a true paradise for the luxury lovers, but where did such wealth come from in the Middle East of the desert? Tourists began to come here after the megacity was built and oil was not found here until 1966. It all started with pearls, which used to be the main currency of the Persian Gulf countries and the main source of income for local residents. Once the place where the city is situated now was called the Pearl Coast and almost the whole male population was engaged in obtaining the gems. The work was difficult and dangerous because there was no special equipment. Only in the 19th century, when the people learned to cultivate pearls artificially, the traditional pearl hunting started to fade away. But the UAE people have not forgotten about their past, and that's why today in the old town you can find a museum devoted to the ancient craft. The guides are ready to tell in detail how in just a couple of centuries the Pearl Fishers Village became one of the richest cities in the world. It's even strange that Abu Dhabi became the capital of the UAE instead of Dubai. By the way, it was in the UAE where the most expensive painting in the world was sold at auction. It was the Leonardo da Vinci painting. However, it never got in the local Louvre. Nevertheless, even without the da Vinci painting, there is a lot to see in this local Louvre. The place strongly resembles the famous French Museum. There are especially many Rembrandt paintings, but I'll only talk about one of them. The painting called Allegory of Smell, also known as Unconscious Patient, has long been considered lost. Curiously enough, the painting was discovered almost by accident in some basement and sold to commissioners for only $500. After the expert evaluation of the painting, the auction has started and the painting has gone up in price from $870,000 to $1.1 million. But the story's not over. Later, the painting was resold for the astronomical price of $4 million. It's hard to imagine how people in whose basement the painting was found fell. The Price of Art However, the story of the Rembrandt painting is not the only case where the value of the painting has exceeded all imaginable limits. 
Art historians know exactly according to what laws the value of a particular piece of art grows. Of course, first of all, everything depends on the artist. The work of famous masters can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. An important role is also played by the age of the painting. The older, the more expensive. But sometimes, even a thorough examination is not enough to assess the painting, because there are craftsmen who have long learned how to fake old paintings. By the way, it's believed that the first such craftsman was Michelangelo himself. Yes, the one who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel and created the Statue of David. You've probably heard stories about actors who, early in their careers, were forced to act in unpopular and sometimes mediocre films. So, in order to make money, Michelangelo was forced to create a fake piece of art and pass it off as a statue from ancient Rome. In 1496, he carved the figure of the sleeping Cupid from stone and buried it in a place where the soil was characterized by high acidity. Thus, the soil artificially aged the figure and made it look like an ancient piece of art. Having miraculously found the statue, Michelangelo sold it to a moneylender who in turn sold it to a cardinal. Later, the cardinal recognized the fake and demanded his money back. The Moon as the Property And what about the appropriation of an entire celestial body? In 1979, the United Nations proposed the creation of the Moon Treaty. This treaty recognized the Moon and all the substances on it as property of all mankind. The treaty also stipulated that the Moon could not belong to any nation. The problem was that only 11 countries signed the treaty and also the fact that people like Dennis Hope lived on Earth. In 1980, taking advantage of gaps in the then-current legislation, the man claimed his ownership of the moon and began selling off land on the Earth's natural satellite. Sales were everywhere from a local bar to an internet site, with prices ranging from $20 to $25 per 4,000 square meters. In 2004, Hope even founded the Galactic Government with its constitution, Congress, Monetary Fund, and Patent Office. Well, I got a little carried away. Since you originally came here to learn about the most expensive creatures, I'll tell you about them. Everyone knows about the savanna cats and the rare snakes, but there are rarer and more unique animals on Earth, and you have to pay a fabulous price for them. Giant Pandas You may already know that giant pandas are considered a vulnerable species, but who would harm these cute little bears? The real reasons giant pandas are disappearing are not just poaching and destruction of their natural habitat. The fact is that these species is simply too lazy to mate. Giant pandas are especially revered in their homeland, China. Several times, the Chinese government even decided to donate one of the animals to a friendly state, provided, of course, that the animal would be kept in decent conditions. In general, giant pandas renting can safely be considered a separate sphere of the Chinese economy. Large zoos all over the world are ready to pay huge amounts of money and fulfill any requirements to keep giant pandas and make the visitors happy. For example, one San Diego zoo got the giant panda in 1996 and since then has paid more than $46 million for it. Turns out that it costs half a million dollars a year to rent a couple of giant pandas. Perhaps giant pandas should already be listed as an asset on the stock exchange. Albino Reptiles why are people so fanatically interested in albino reptiles? It's hard to say, but the numbers speak for themselves. The lavender albino python, a unique white snake with yellow scales and red eyes, costs $40,000. Many would pay that much to keep a creepy snake away from them. White crocodiles are even rarer in the wild, and for some reason this fact intrigues people greatly. If you were told that Kim Kardashian and Victoria Beckham spent a lot of time looking for and buying such a reptile, would you believe it? The famous ladies had to pay $100,000 each to get their hands on the rare white crocodile leather bags. The most expensive bag made of albino crocodile leather was sold at auction in 2016 for $300,000. By the way, usually albino crocodiles are not sold as pets, however, some brands, for example Hermes, purposely grow albino crocodiles to subsequently make special bags using their skin and put them on sale for a round sum. That's all, guys. What interesting facts about unique animals do you know? Share them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.